Hello? Can you hear me? You can? Ah, good stuff. My name is Marcus, and I've decided to record this stream to tell you about my experience with the Emotional Wellbeing Team and why I think you should give them a try if you've ever had problems like I had. Oh, a question already. What is the Emotional Wellbeing Team? Good question. This is a team of emotional well-being practitioners. They work in schools and are trained to help students with their emotional well-being. If you're feeling low, stressed or worried, you can talk to them. Why did you end up talking to an emotional well-being practitioner? Let me start at the beginning. I used to think everyone was staring at me. At school, in the street. It was hard to go anywhere without worrying that everyone was looking at me. So I stopped going out unless I had to. I couldn't even decide what to wear each day. I thought I couldn't pull cool clothes off like the other guys. I kept thinking everyone would judge me. It stopped me from doing a lot of the things I love. I was scared I wouldn't be able to make new friends or keep the ones I had. I couldn't make decisions, relax, or get started on the things I needed to do. I was so stressed and overwhelmed. I wasn't able to handle the pressure of making decisions about my future. Yeah, I wasn't really feeling so good about a lot of things. What was it like working with them? And how did you overcome your problems? I started talking to my emotional well-being practitioner, Claire. She assured me that I was in a safe space. Some families don't want to make their problems public, but she explained it was best to talk about your worries so you can overcome them. The emotional well-being practitioner was really friendly and she never talked down to me. She listened and actually treated me like an adult. We set weekly goals and tried different kinds of tasks in our sessions. It was a real challenge at first, but I liked that. We rated how I did each week too. It was a great way to track my progress. I was able to start focusing on things that mattered to me again. Exercise turned out to be a great way to calm my nerves. Everything she taught me helped me to ground myself. I became less tense and more chilled out. I learned how to manage my worries better. We had one final virtual catch-up session so we could recap all the skills I'd learned to manage my worries. It made me realize how far I'd come. All right, last question. How do you feel now? Was the experience worth it? First things first, I feel loads better. I can go to school and not worry if others are staring or talking about me. Most days I like my clothes and even believe I look good. I remind myself, who cares what others think? I've overcome a lot of my fears. I'm more comfortable around friends. I don't need as much support from adults now. And others have noticed my new confidence and how I'm speaking up more. I still have the occasional worries, but I know that's okay. Now I'm way more comfortable with talking to people about them. I even feel more positive about decisions I'm making for my future. I couldn't have made any of these changes without the emotional wellbeing team and my emotional wellbeing practitioner. They're the reason I have the confidence to start this live stream. If that's not proof, you guys should speak to them if you have similar worries. I don't know what is. You might have different types of worries too. The emotional well-being team can help you with all sorts of problems. It's okay to not be okay. Remember, seeking help is normal. Right, thanks for watching guys, but I've got to go. I'm meeting my friends in 20 minutes. See you later.